Welcome back friends to another episode of Lynch Paint where I, Lynch, will be showing you all how to paint the Emperor's most loyal of chapters, his first Legion of Astartes, the Dark Angels. So let us grab our paints and brushes and let's get started. However, in order to paint the Emperor's favourite Legion, you're going to need these paints that I have assembled here in order to do so. You'll also need a big fluffy chunky brush for doing the base. You're going to need a medium sized brush for doing all the medium armor bits. A finer detail brush for trims and some of the wet blending. And then a teeny weeny teeny tiny brush for doing the really hard to reach areas like the lenses and some of the squiggles and the purity seals and that sort of thing. So as always, the first step will be to base our model in a black acrylic primer. Then what we're going to do, I'm going to grab some Abaddon black and some Calibon green. We're going to do a 50-50 mix of these two paints. And this is going to be our starting layer. And then using wet blending, we will then build the layers up to a much brighter green. So the first coat is dried, so we're just going to go back over introducing some more Caliban, um, yeah, some more Caliban green, and we're just going to pick out some of the raised areas at the top of the leg, and his helmet, keeping our paints nice and thinned, and we will try and aim for a nice smooth coat. So now that that step is done, I'm just going to move over to introducing a little bit more of a lighter green. So I'm going to mix in a little bit of moot green. It is a very bright and vibrant colour, so we're going to want just a little bit of that just added to our palette. And I've added in too much, so I'm going to dab in some more Caliban green just to try and balance it back out. And then we've got a nice water brush. And then we're just going to rinse and repeat. So now I'm using a thicker brush and I'm going to be just picking out more of these areas just to build up the green. And I'm going to start to, in a way, highlight some of the areas. Just kind of thickly for now, but then later on I'll be going back over it with a much thinner brush. But we're going to try and build up these layers to make the, the armour really pop. So the green armour is coming along pretty nicely. So I'm just going to go grab this tiny brush and I'm going to go start doing the highlights. So I'm quite happy with how the green has turned out on the armour. So what we're going to do now, we're going to look at the cape and the cloth. So generally with the Dark Angels, they have a very, sort of like a cream colour. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because I don't really have a cream, I mean, I've got a kiss up flesh, which we could give it a go. It is a bit more of a skin tone colour, um, but I'm going to try and make it work. Um, before recording, I had some... Uh, cream paint, I think it was like a peach bone esque sort of colour. Um, and then I opened it and it was completely dry. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to improvise a little bit. So, we're just going to roll with this Kiss Girl Flash. 
another one now. Um, I think we'll do the top of the cape in red for the underneath in a cream. So we're just going to very carefully apply this just on the inside. So I've done a couple of layers with the Kisvel Flesh and I'm now just going to mix in a little bit of white. So it hasn't turned out too badly. So with a little bit of white I'm just going to pick out the raised areas. Again keeping my paints nice and thin down with some water. So just while I'm at it, I'm going to use the same colours just to do the purity seals that are hanging off here. Okay, so moving over to his cape, we're going to want some Mephiston Red and a good old Avalon Black. And we're going to want to mix up a very dark red and then again just slowly build the colours back up to a nice vibrant red. So next up, I'm just going to be grabbing some of these Iron Warriors base and I'm going to, to start to paint over the silver work of the model and then afterwards we'll go over all the gold areas. Okay, moving over to the gold areas, so I'm just going to grab this Brass Scorpion. It's a really nice darker gold just to start out with. So we're going to pick out all the trim, all the accessories. Just dip your brush into a little bit of water as this will just help to make sure that your paints are nice and flowing and they're not plugging because metallics, they tend to clag and they can mess up your brush quite a bit because of all the little pigments on the inside of the paint that, uh, or the glitter that helps to make it shine. So, it's gonna pick out all the fancy areas now, really. Next, I'm just gonna take some of this Retribution Armor, which is a lighter gold, in coloration and I'm just going to pick out some of the raised areas with the previous gold and where the light's going to probably catch it the most just to try and add in a few more layers to this trim uh, and then afterwards we'll probably, probably give it a dry brush with some silver and a wash over with some brown wash uh, aka Agrax Earthshade So just to finish off, I'm just going to grab some of this Agrax Earthshade, I'm going to water it down a little bit, and I'm just going to pop it into some of the um, more recessed areas. So I'm thinking just along the ends of these wings, the ends, or rather like the start. Just pop a little bit in there. Um, same with these as well, and probably just a few areas just around the gun and the mask as well. So this is what we have so far, and what I'm going to do next is that I'm just going to fill out a couple of little detailed points. So I'm going to add some little text squiggles onto the purity seals, I'm going to do the eyes as well. Um, with the purity seals, if you grab the smallest brush that you have and then just make very, very, very light and just little wiggles 
and it will look like text on a scroll. Um, I'd avoid using pure black. I'd say mix in a little bit of grey or white into your black just so it's a very dark grey at least. Um, just so it doesn't stand out as much. And then with the eyes, I believe they will be a red. So I'm going to grab a small brush, fill in that area there. And then I think after that, it's just using, um, it's going over the base really. And then we're finished. So let's cut to that, shall we? Okay, so now we're moving on to the base. I'm just going to get this Storm Vermin fur, a large brush, and I'm just going to heavily dry brush the base just to give us our first colour. And then what I'll do is, is that I will gradually introduce other greys, maybe some browns as well, into the mixture, getting lighter and lighter until I have achieved the right look and feel for the model. There's a few um, interesting bits on this base, so there's like another space ring helmet, um, there's like some little sort of broken metal works on there as well, so I'll go over them um, in sort of metallics and then give them a bit of a wash and probably put on some rust effects as well. Um, not too sure who to paint the space ring helmet as, maybe another dark angel. Um, yeah, this shouldn't take me too long. So, this is how I went about painting a Dark Angel Space Marine Captain for any sort of Dark Angel Space Marine Force. Um, I don't really plan on making a Dark Angels Force, but I just wanted to paint this up for fun. The reason why I chose Dark Angels is because that, um, lately they've been getting a lot of folks out of love, so I thought I would give it a go and show you all at home how I would approach it as well. The reason why I painted the first Born Marine as well is because this was a rescue model that I found on eBay for, I think I managed to pick it up for only a couple of quid, um, and I had to strip the paint back, respray it, re spray it black, and um, really just figure out what sort of chapter or legion I was gonna paint it as. So I picked Blood Angels, as it's my first rescue miniature, and I thought, why not? You know, let's, let's pick the Dark Angels. And again, you know, they have been getting a lot of attention lately as well. Um, so I'm not too sure what to do with him now that he's done. Uh, I'll either have him as a giveaway prize or I might um, set up some kind of shop, either on eBay or Etsy, where I will buy sort of rescue models, do them up and then sell them on. So yeah, if, if you're interested in that sort of thing, let me know in the comments down below whether you want it to be more of a giveaway prize or um, if I should open up like a shop of some kind. Any kind of feedback would be great. If you enjoyed the video as well, a like and subscribe would be massively appreciated. There'll be stills and reels of this miniature as always over at my Instagram page at Lynch Paints, which will be linked in the description and down below. Um, if you're new to here as well, a subscription would be massively, hugely appreciated as always. There will be a link to my affiliate link for Wayland Games in the description. If you wanted to start a Dark Indoor Force and you're inspired by this miniature, then go ahead and check them out as well. They're a UK based retailer as well. And if you want to support me a little bit further, I do have a coffee page down below as well. Check me a couple of quid, price for coffee, um, and I'll be eternally grateful. So, without further ado, stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe, stay beautiful, and we'll see you next time.